I've seen some people mention that they're having problems with the warped text feature. So I'm going to go into a project that I made with the warped text feature. And I'm going to try something. And if it works, I'm thinking I'm going to have some very happy people. Okay, well, first off, I made this huge because I was just doing it for a demo. So let's start off by selecting everything and I'm going to group it. Why am I grouping it? Because group allows all of your layers to can still hold on to or retain their original data, like color. But now you can resize them all together. So let's just change this and make it, I don't know, nine inches. So now I'm going to zoom in. Okay. Let's hit save. Now I'm going to go down to my C drive on my computer and go to users. And then under users, Go to the one with your name or your husband's name if he set up your computer and click on Cricut Design Space. Then we're going to go into the local data. Then you're going to see some files with a bunch of numbers. I was guessing that the numbers related to dates, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's click in one of those and then I'm going to click on Canvas. And again, more folders with more numbers. I really want to figure out what these numbers mean, but I can click on a preview and this is a project I was just recently working on. So now I just have to figure out which one of these files is the one for my um, good vibes only project. So yes, I am speeding up the video because you don't want to see me digging through everything. I even tried adding a shape to this project, thinking that would make it a more recent save. That didn't work. Then while I was digging around in some folders, I noticed that there was one that was called details. So I decided to open it to see what it was and see if maybe that would give me some of the information that I was looking for. There is a number right at the beginning of that and that matches with the number of the folder. So if I could somehow figure out what that number is on this project, that would help me. I tried going into the project details to figure that out. Still haven't figured out how the number relates from the project to the file folder. So again, I just kept until I found the file I was looking for. I do want to point out it shows black in the background. It's a PNG, but it's showing black because it's a transparent background. I really want to stress this because I feel like it's super important. PNG files and SVG files are not the same thing. If you go to my website, seanmosh.com, you will find an entire article just about what is an SVG file. So let me close this and I'm going to remember that this is the project canvas number. Okay. So now I am going to start a new project. I'm going to go upload, upload my image and browse. And I want to browse to here, or I could just drag that. And that brought in my image. I'm going to click on complex actually. Let's go continue. You can see in this screen, the background is already a checkerboard or it looks like it's been removed. That's because it was a transparent PNG file. If I go preview cut image there, you can see that's what it's going to cut. Apply and continue. Make sure to click on the cut image. So I'm going to call this good vibes only test. 
and go upload. So now I can add that to my canvas. So now you're probably thinking, Sean, that's great. But originally it was three colors. Hold on, I'm getting there. Purple, blue, and green. Okay. So I want one of them to be purple. And then I'm going to just duplicate. And I want one to be blue. And duplicate again. And the last one's going to be green. I don't like that green. Let's, ooh, that's, okay, we'll go with that. So now if I click on this one, I go contour. And I'm going to start selecting all of the things I want to turn off. If you have never used contour before, I really recommend playing around with it. It allows you to turn on and off different areas of a design. So if you see a design in Cricut Design Space or even an SVG and you're like, ooh, I like this part of it, but not the whole thing, you can use contour to turn off or hide different parts. Is this a complex kind of pain in the butt workaround? Absolutely. But does it get you there if you really want to get a project done? Yep. You might be wondering, Sean, how did you figure out how to do this? Well, that's because I have spent a massive amount of time using Cricut Design Space. I've actually owned a Cricut since 2008. And I really spent time understanding what each individual button does. So then when something doesn't work as I would expect it to, I can kind of go into my toolkit of resources and ideas and figure out a workaround. I'm also really good at looking at images online or projects online. For example, a Pinterest project and being able to figure out all the little steps that it would take to complete that project. So if you are sitting there thinking, Sean, I want to know this. How do I unlock your brain and get all that information for myself? Well, I actually have a course that some people have described exactly as a download Sean's brain with everything she knows about design space so that you can start to learn to do things like this. So right here, those, I clicked on the wrong thing. So I just go back in and edit them. There's never a reason to freak out on anything in design space because it's all gonna work out. It's just a program. You can't break anything. So now, because I wanna make sure everything lines up where it used to be, I'm going to go like this and select a line to the top and then align those centered horizontally. Nope. Let's align to the left. There we go. So now they're perfectly lined up on top of each other. So now when I start turning off things for the blue, I know everything's in the right spot. And you can either turn things off by clicking over here on this part of the screen or over here. Over here, you just have to figure out which letter it is or which piece it is. Like this, this E is easy to figure out. It's the only E in there. There's not a letter L in vibes, which is what we want turned on for this example. So I know I can turn that off. Same with the N. So you see how you can kind of start to figure out 
some of the pieces. But yeah, some of the other pieces are going to be harder to figure out. So then it might be easier just to click on them in here. So as long as you're listening to my video, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my online course. It is a collection of over 20 videos where I show you what each and every button in Cricut Design Space does so that you can start to learn how to utilize all the different pieces and put it together to make anything you want. I truly believe that once you understand how to use the software, you can create anything. I'm going to speed up the video here so we can get through the blue section and move on to the green. I am going to group these together so that when I add this one, I can work with them all as a group. So I am going to align to the left and then align to the top. Perfect. Now I can get rid of everything except for the word only in the green. See how I'm clicking on all the pieces that I'm like, yep, I know for sure that's not part of the word only. Like there's nothing in the word only that's got this kind of a shape. And if you watch when you're clicking things on and off, you can kind of see where it's turning on or off. So like right here, that was that piece. That piece was the inside of the O, so I'm just gonna click it back on. So there's no like, oh my gosh, I messed up. Just click it back on, it's no big deal. Ironically, this same process is the one I use when I see people saying, oh, I have a image that I've uploaded and it's all one color and I want to break it up into separate colors and create different colored layers. This is the same process I use, the duplicate and contour process. I have a whole section in my online course about creating layers from images that don't start off with having layers. There are some images that it's kind of close to impossible to do, but if you take a look at my website or any of my social media, you can see that there are a lot of projects you can do just by learning how to create your own layers. Good vibes only. Oh, I turned off one of the ones in the L. Unfortunate. Oops. But let's just go back. Click on it. Contour. And it's one of the ones in the L right there. There we go. So now if I save this as my good vibes only test. And I click save. When I go to make it, they're still showing curved and they will cut out curved. And I actually did cut this out of some iron on vinyl just to show you that it does cut curved. So I, I hope this helps you learn something new, 
like I said before, if you want to learn everything that's in my brain as it relates to Cricut Design Space, go and purchase my online course. Another benefit of the course is when Design Space changes and adds more features, functions, or moves a button, changes an icon, I update my course. So then you know you are looking at the most current video versus having to search on YouTube and look around and find a video from 2020 when Cricut Design Space looked totally different. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.